All right, guys, so I'm doing a little screen record today. I thought you guys might want to see this, and I found a car I want to buy, but I'm not going to buy it, and I'm going to tell you why that is. Um, so this car is clear title. It is a E46 uh, all-wheel drive, so XI, 325 XI. This is a 2002. He wants 600 bucks for it. He's negotiable on the price. Realistically, I could probably get it for 400 bucks. All right. And you're saying, why don't you go buy that? Everybody on here is saying, Nathan, go buy that. Well, here's why I'm not going to go buy it. Um, just looking at his description, it's an automatic, which that's not a bad thing. It's probably a good thing on E46, so the subframe is not destroyed. This car is hole in oil pan when front rear end went bad. Engine got hole and pan from rear end, yo kitted. That's a bizarrely worded paragraph, but you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, since it's all wheel drive, it's just like uh, RE60, the CV axles go through the oil pan and the diff sits on the driver's side, side of the oil pan. So the passenger side axle goes all the way through the oil pan to the diff. And let me rephrase that. The driver's side only goes into the diff, the CV axle. Um, so that diff blowing up and breaking the oil pan is not a common situation at all. So somebody's probably done something ugly to it, more than likely. It could have ran out of fluid and blew up. It could also be the front guibo on the front drive shaft where it goes in the diff. That could have went out and blew up. Um, so it doesn't say the mileage on it. I contacted him as 204,000 miles on it, which is, I mean, the car is by no means wore out. It's just, if when I go to resell it, if I fix it, that's going to be a problem. People don't like BMWs with 200,000 miles on them. Um, so we know for sure, and everything looks pretty good. It's in the bright sunlight. He said it was not faded out. Uh, which is good, which red's difficult to see in the pictures, if it is or not. And it has black leather, which we all like. Uh, that's cleanable pretty much no matter what. And let me see here. Kind of zooming in. There's a little dirty spot there. There's a little rust spot right there, which this car is in central Illinois. Um... They do get more snow than we do. It's got a little tiny rust spot right there. But all the trims there, I think it'll probably buff out. Like I said, you can't really tell. Uh, so it's 2002, so we'll have the upgraded valve cover. I'm going to get Amber to stop texting me while I'm screen recording. Um, updated valve cover, updated coil packs, so it has the push and install coil packs. What it's going to need. If the transmission functions correctly, which it probably does, that'd be a 5L30E GM box. Uh, they're not usually known for having a lot of issues. It probably desperately needs transmi transmission fluid change. It's about 60 bucks uh, using the Valvoline Max Life. You know it's going to need a uh, probably throttle body boot. It's probably going to need a cam sensor to the valve cover may or may not be cracked. Um, the engine is 550 bucks. I found one on eBay, a good running engine. Uh, the front diff, a couple hundred bucks. Um, if it needs CV axle or two, that's, it could be a couple hundred bucks for a couple of those. Depends on what's happened and so on. It does have projector headlights. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any body damage, but you just don't know. You know, it's going to need front control arms and thrust bushings uh, for that that's 150 bucks and the car books at $2,400 that's in okay condition with that mileage and I think it only books that high because it's all-wheel drive um, so just those things I mentioned we're already getting close let's just say if you pay 400 bucks we're gonna have Let's say $1,800 in it. That's a real fair assessment. Got to send the title off. Had to pay 100 or so bucks on sales tax for it. That's 1,900 bucks. You got to figure 100 bucks worth of 
miscellaneous stuff. We, while you're there, you might as well do the coolant hard pipe, suspension tank. You might as well do all that stuff. Chances are it's overdue for all that. Another 100 bucks for all that stuff. You're $2,000 in it. The car bucks 2400 bucks. Can I fix this car? Absolutely. There's no question. I would love to be able to fix it. Um, oh, and the rear drive shaft, you know it's going to need a guibo. You know it's going to need carrier bearing. It's another 100 bucks for that stuff. It's 2100 bucks. You're going to have to go 2200 bucks. And the car's worth 24 24 being top dollar private party. That's kind of right in the middle. Um, so, you know, it's just... It's one of those deals that it's not really worth doing. Uh, should have already had this up. I closed it out earlier. And we'll just run here the numbers on it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And not to say KBB is like the holy grail of what a car is worth, but it just gives you an idea, a general idea. 3 Series 2, 4. Put my zip codes. So it's going to vary a little bit. Depends on what zip code you put in. It's a sedan, 325XI all wheel drive. And next. Uh, standard. It looks like it was all pretty much standard. It's red. The time we sell it, it'll be in good condition. Not fair, not very good. Just good. It's 54% of all cars are in that condition. Probably 5% of BMWs in that condition. Probably less E46s are in that condition. And here we go. So trade-in value is $580. Holy cow. And a private party value. And so we have private party value between $1,661 and $3,232. Depends on who you're selling it to. The average private party value is $2,447. We're going to have over $2,000 in it. So, unfortunately, I'd love to do it for the channel. Maybe I should still do it for the channel. It's two hours away from where I live at. Um, so, I'm not going to do it. And it's just uh, not worth doing it. Yeah, $495, N52. Got to make sure you get the right one here. Here's what we need, 565 for a running engine. It may or may not have a front diff on it. I don't have discs for that here. All I have is N52 discs. I can't tell there's not enough pictures on it. I don't think that's the right engine. Oh, yeah, it is. It does not have the front diff, as you'll be able to see it. Be able to see her right here, boy. She's not there. Um, so anyhow, that's the story. Just thought you guys like to see it. That's why we're not going to buy that. Sorry, E46 guys. Um, we're just not going to do that. It's foolish money to be spent. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.